Okay, so there's a few things that I always say you can never really have enough of. Clamps, carabiners, and little lights. They're all just so handy, so handy to have around. And today we're taking a look at the Digital Photo Luxio P200 light, which is this nice little six or eight inch long little stick light, which is pretty cool. I've been using this in a few different situations, some for photos, some for video, and some for just having extra lights around because sometimes extra light is just handy. I actually used it on a camping trip just to light up the campsite at night, so that was pretty cool too. Didn't get any photos of that. I probably should have done that. Would have been good, good for this video. But I didn't do it. You'll just have to take my word for it. Now, before we get too far into this, Digital Photo did send me two of these lights to test out, um, but I actually genuinely do like these lights. They're really fun. I kind of like the size of them. They're not too small and they're pretty powerful for how small they are. Like I said, I've used them in a variety of different situations. And well, let's get right into this. Let me tell you why this light is super cool. So to start off with, this is a USB rechargeable light. Uh, pretty cool USB-C. I love that things are going USB-C. It just makes everything so much easier. You can never plug it in wrong. So that, that's a big bonus. And then if you notice in here, there's also a USB-A port in there. And that's so you can actually use this as a charging device, uh, like a little portable battery. So I haven't tested that out yet, but you can do that, which is, I don't know, kind of cool if you're in an emergency and need phone power and not light. Um, so. That's a cool feature. Now, pretty simple. There's really only one button on here to turn on and off. You notice it's on a blue light right now. Uh, the way to change that is it comes with a remote where you can change different colors, go white light, yellow, flashing light, different effects, which is pretty cool, different colors. You can mix and match if you have multiples of these. But there is no way to change the color that I know of on this light. Um, so if you do lose your remote, you can download an app. Uh, so this will connect to your phone through an app. So you can also control the light through there. If you happen to lose your remote control or you prefer to just do everything on your phone, I try to keep apps on my phone to a minimum. So I haven't tested that out, but that's how I roll. I try not to download an app for every little thing, uh, but just know that is an option. One question you may have if you have multiples of these and a remote, the remote will control whatever light it can see or whatever light it's pointing at, whatever light can read that remote. So you don't have to have individual remotes for individual lights. Um, man, it's windy outside. Oh. Well, if the power goes out, I got a light. So that's good. By the way, this light over here, this little light in the background, that's that's the other one of these. I usually have an aperture light back there, but I figured I've got these, might as well throw it back there, show you how well it works as an accent light. Something else pretty cool about these lights, the backside of it does have a magnetic strip. So if you've got a light stand, you just pop it on your light stand and you have an instant light. If you have a metal wall or a fridge or anything like that, somewhere you just need to pop a little bit of extra light, magnet, boom, right there. Got yourself some extra light. And you can even use this kind of as a little key light, like key light, I always call this a key light. It's not a key light, edge light. I don't know why I always call it a key light. I know it's not right, but I do it anyway. But this little edge light right here, say if this thing went out, here, let's, let's show you. This is why the app might be helpful. I, I'm looking for the remote. So found the remote, uh, like I said, that might be a good reason to have the app on your phone. Um, you pretty much always know where your phone is. I'm supplementing my edge light over here with the P200. Uh, so here's with the P200 and here is without. So it does add a little bit of pop over here on the side. So if you just need to add a little bit of fill on somebody, uh, this can be a really good option. Let's get my real light back on. That's better. So something pretty cool about this light is it is supposed to be waterproof. So let's, let's see. Yep, appears to be waterproof. So I let the water soak in there, let it dry out, still works. So it is waterproof as they claim, which is good. I mean, sometimes you need to throw a light in some water and you don't wanna throw an expensive light in water. So the other great thing about this light, they are currently $62 on Amazon, which for what you get is an awesome deal. 
What a deal. I'm not trying to sell this to you. I'm just saying like, if you want some extra lights, some decent lights that aren't, you know, $200, $300, these are really good options. These are really good options for you. Another thing you can do with this light, super fun. I've played with it just a little bit, uh, light painting. Because the shape of this light, you can get some really cool shapes, some designs, just get some pretty fun streaks with light painting in this. I do kind of want to play around with this a little bit more, different colors, different lights, maybe have one in each hand, just, I don't know, do some fun stuff, be creative with it. This is a way to really have some fun with these lights. And you know, I'm looking forward to doing more of this. It's been a while since I've done a lot of light painting, so could be fun. Well, that's what I have for you guys today. I know this is short, sweet, to the point, just kind of talking about this light a little bit, how cool it is and how much fun this is to have just in your bag pretty easily, just over a hundred bucks. You can have a couple of them. Really powerful to have these lights together to pair them up, two, three, four of them. If you really got creative with this, you could have like a pack of 10 of these and light pretty much what I have going on here with just these, here, with just these. I know you've seen it already, but here, this was magnetically attached to my stand over there. How fun is that? Anyway, uh, well, this is a really cool light, really great price. So do yourself a favor. Link down in the description, buy one. All right, guys, well, that's what I have for you today. I hope you found this video useful, informative, helpful, anything like that. Uh, let me know if you have any other questions about this light. I think it's a pretty great value for what it is. It doesn't even really, I mean, it feels kind of, cheapish, but not too bad. It feels pretty good for a $60 light. Uh, if I bought this and had no experience with it, I'd have been like, yeah, I'm happy with this. No worries. Oh, by the way, it's got a quarter 20 mount on the bottom, so you can uh, mount it on top of a C-stand or whatever. Just a little added bonus. A little added bonus for you. All right, guys. Well, I'm out of here. I will see you soon. I'm uh, talking about some more lights coming up. Not this one, but bigger ones. So come back. I'll show you some really cool lights. All right, guys, do me a favor. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button down there. Hit that subscribe button while you're down there. Leave in the comments, questions, anything like that. And I will see you guys next time.